Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Welcome to this edition of Truck Life. Don't you just really love having a truck? We sure do. But there's one small problem, that's trying to reach to the top parts of the truck, like when you're trying to wash the windshield or put something over the side of the bed, or perhaps servicing the engine, reaching over the fender wells and trying to reach in. It's a little bit tough for us vertically challenged people. Well, we found a great product that will tell you the good, the bad and the ugly, and here it is right Right here, a tire step. Well, let us tell you about it. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here. Welcome to Truck Life. We love having a truck, and obviously they're very popular. Just look around the next traffic light you're at, see how many other people are driving them. Or when you pull into the parking lot of your favorite retailer, the place is swamped with them, and just look at the freeway. And for good reason. They're good looking, they're hard working, and whether they're classic or the brand new ones, they're fun to have. And with the newer additions, the comfort level's off the chart. But something we've run into from time to time is when we're servicing the vehicle or just stopping and fueling and washing the windshield, it's really tough to get up to the upper parts of the truck. And so we have invested in this over the tire tire step. And this tire step is good looking. It's economical. This cost is about $30 on Amazon. I've provided you the search terms down below in the description so you can look up for yourself and see the different models and price points. But we think for what we got for 30 bucks, this is pretty doggone good. It comes up with a folding step, as you can see here, folds up nice. This has got a cheese grater top on it and it connects onto the tire really easily and folds away nicely. So it's really nice to stow. When you receive the product, it comes in a nice box that shows both the weight rating, it'll carry up to 300 pounds, as well as a cutaway where you can see the tread. When you flip it over on the back, you'll see a diagram of the opened unit along with a set of features. It's easy to unpackage, and when you do, you're essentially gonna end up with a couple little packing sleeves that you need to slice off. And then at that point, you need to do a few adjustments, and those include, number one, setting the depth of the tire. This is adjustable for up to 13 inches and it's accomplished by putting a pin through the different holes in this sleeve along with a little keeper. The second area that you're going to adjust is where the step resides and you can see there's some holes here so that you can put the step up higher if you so desire or a little bit lower. We chose this position because it was a good compromise between comfort in stepping up and also allowing reach both over the side into the engine bay for checking oil and fluids, but also to reach up to that really stubborn little center point on the windshield that I could actually reach it. It works really well. There's one other adjustment you have to do, and you can see it right here. And that is these bumper bolts right here are going to land against the tire face or the wheel. And it's what adjusts the distance in and out away from the tire. So when you put it on the tire, you can see right here in our particular unit, it goes on real nice, that it's just hitting right there and it won't mar. How secure is it? Well, let's step up on it and see what we get. Really nice, huh? So I can reach up there. If the hood's open, I can certainly get into there and check those fluids and it feels real sturdy. It's good looking too. Every time we stop at a service station and I put this thing out, we get people walking by going, wow, that's cool and have had more than one conversation. Now here's something about this. This device has actually been in existence for some time. My mechanic friends say, we've had those in the service bays for years. Well, like other products and other professional realms, sometimes they take a while to leak out to us mere mortals, but here it is right now, and what a difference it makes in improving our truck life. Now, I wanna tell you about one other little thing you're gonna to need to do to just to improve your experience with this. We found that just when you fold this up, and it's riding around in the back of the truck as it came, it did not have this nut and this washer. And these bolts would simply ride in and out. And as you can see in this shot, one of the bolts is out further, the other one is in. So what we did is we removed the bolt, installed the nut, traveled it up the thread a little bit to give it room, and put a washer in, then reinstalled it and then tighten down the nut against the 
steel tubing. When you did that, it locks it in place and it will stay from now on. And we've used this quite a bit since then and it is every time just exactly where we put it. And as you can see on our truck, when you put it on, it hangs up nice and level and securely. And as you've seen several times, it's easy to take on and off and go to the other three tires as well. So it's fast. The other thing that you just have to do keep in mind though, is make sure you get in the routine that before you drive off, you check to see this is off the tire and it's stowed safely in the back. We think it's a great deal for 30 bucks and it looks great too. If you have a device like this you use that's really enhanced your truck life, won't you comment below and let your fellow viewers know about it? And if you've got some opinion on this or something else you'd like to see us review, please let us know as well. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, subscribe to our channel so we can continue to produce episodes of Truck Life, episodes in the shop, out in the garden, in the kitchen, and great product reviews. Hey, thanks for watching today. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay. Enjoy your truck life.